Well, social conformity. I mean, I live in Europe. Here in Europe, uh, in Rome, in Italy, they call organic food biological. So they ins insinuate that non-organic food is not even food. All my friends uh, are against GM. Well, the majority of my friends. And it's just this social conformity bias that you're only around, you only see the evidence against, and you never see the evidence for and you just automatically accept it, especially when it comes from trusted friends. It started changing about six or nine months ago. I was reading a book, uh, Ray Kurzweil's The Singularity is Near, and in it he talks about the future of technology, and he talks about the dangers of not accepting that technology. And that's when I first encountered golden rice, what happened with golden rice. One to two million people a year are dying because of vitamin A deficiency. We have the technology, the golden rice, to save them. It's go it was going to be given to them for free. It was not for profit. And it was blocked. It has two genes changed. And we are willing to put those two genes in front of the millions of people who die every year from vitamin deficiency. And that just snapped me out of it. So as I was making my journey from anti-GMOism, to pro-GMOism, uh, I started reading lots of articles. I mean, it started with that book, The Singularity is Near. And I found Kevin Falter's blog on the internet where he talks solely about plant uh, GMO issues. And it was amazing. He just The clarity of the information, it, uh, I was already convinced, I was already convinced that for some, some few weeks, that I'm probably wrong about GMOs, that everything I knew is probably wrong. But to have it come from a public scientist with no funding bias, it makes it that much more real and explaining the myths in detail. And that was the most amazing thing was he immediately just came out and said there is no debate at all in the scientific community. And of course everybody just assumes there is because the the uh, the hysteria against it on the internet, and that was like the first line. The first mistake that people make is that there is a debate um, in the scientific community. There is not, and then explaining in detail why many of the myths against GMO are actually wrong. It's extremely important. You know, people's lives are hanging in the balance. You know, it's nice and easy when we are here in the West and we're fed when well, well we are well fed but there are starving people in Africa and Southeast Asia a billion people go to go to sleep hunger hungry every single night 16 million of those will die in a single year 9 million of those are kids and genetics genetically modified food which is just as safe as conventional food can help them can save them mm -hmm.